This is what $1,000 gets promoting your music on Instagram and Facebook. So I spent just under $1,000 to promote my music on Facebook and Instagram, and I'm gonna show you all the results. I'm gonna share my screen of what to do, what not to do, and the good stuff that happened, plus the bad stuff. Let's jump into it. So I'm in my Facebook ads manager, and as you can see here, I've set this to the last 14 days, and if you scroll over here, we spent about 1239 That's Canadian dollars, though. So we need to convert that to American. So 1239 times 0.7, and that gives us about 867. So remember that number, $867, okay? And so that got us about 46,000 in reach, so it reached 46,000 people. So reach is the number of people that actually saw my ad at least once but impressions is the number of times your ads were shown on the screen. So it was shown on the screen 64,000 times, but only 46,000 people because some people saw the ad multiple times. Like if I scroll over here to the right and I change from performance and I go to delivery, I can see that based on this ad set, people saw this 1.39, that's the frequency. The average number of times each account saw your ad. So about 1.39 times, okay? But what's really neat is I click on here and I go to the actual ad itself. It's turned off right now. Which one got the most impressions? This one got about 38,000. So let me click on here, click preview. And I can see about 128 comments, 300 shares, which is awesome. So we reached that many people. That's really cool. We got that many comments. That's really awesome and stuff. But how much money did we make? Like, where were we sending them? Like, first of all, my ad was to get a free CD, right? But we do this thing called um, a free plus shipping offer. So if you go to manifest.com slash free stones CD, this is where I was sending people. So I was telling them to buy my CD, right? They put their name and email, everything like that put their their address click send me a free CD and I say look this CD is free you just got to cover the shipping so right here at the bottom says manifest wool CD free just pay the shipping and handling but the first thing I have here is an upsell right which is hey get all my albums on this guitar USB key click that and all of a sudden they're, they're spending $26 almost with me and then we have upsells right and so if you remember again I want to I want you to remember where we were we spent about I think it was 1200 Canadian, which worked out to be 867 US. How much did I collect? Well, if I go over my ClickFunnels page here, I can see that in the last 14 days, we collected $1,800, okay? So we had 131 CDs sold. Um, if I click on this little arrow here, I can scroll down. How many people took that guitar USB? Well, some people paid with credit cards, some people paid with USB. So a total of 26 people all right, so that was an extra three, four hundred and something dollars from that, right? But then there's other people that took the upsells. 18 people took this sticker pack upsell, which was another $180. Some people took the downsell of it, which that was 105. And then two people took the live and concert download, which was another eight bucks. And so you got to have the upsells to be able to make the money, right? Now what's also really cool is, is Apple sends me this recap every week of what's happening, how many plays, Shazams I got. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, I can see the most Shazam songs and I can see that Save You is number three and it had a plus 48% increase. Now there's a reason we had the increase and it's because that was the song that I was promoting in my Facebook ad. So you can see where it says Save You. Well, that's the song that I'm playing in my ad. All right, so it's no wonder that we got all these shares, all these comments, we sold CDs, but obviously a lot of people went to iTunes and bought the song, um, Shazam the song. We had some people that left comments saying like, hey, I didn't want to get the CD, but I went to Apple Music and I bought it right now. And we call that the waterfall effect, right? And so the point is, is you want to keep marketing and promoting your songs. Yes, it drove sales, but it brought, also drove people to Spotify, definitely to Apple Music. Music. And so I encourage you to keep marketing your music and you can do it profitably. What I taught you right here is the free plus shipping and we talk about that in our Spotify challenge. Now some of you are saying, I don't have a thousand dollars, Chris. I don't even have $500. I don't even have a hundred dollars to promote my music right now. Well, first thing you need to get your income up 
but I got good news and I'm going to share with you how to get and reach 46,000 people for free. Because remember, I shared with you earlier, I paid over about $1,000 to reach 46,000 people. So I'm going to show you how to do that for free on social media. First, I want to quickly share with you about our Spotify challenge at 10 fanbase dot com check this out if you go to 10x your fan dot com you can join our spotify challenge and for five days straight i'm going to be answering your questions on spotify your funnels all kinds of stuff but if you get a vip ticket you have access to me and you can see what all of our students are saying day one is seven alarming spotify mistakes day two is how to triple your success Day three is how to 10x your streams at no cost. As you can see, I 10x my streams and it was profitable. Um, number four, get four times more followers. Um, number five, this is really important, the dirty truth about royalty. Discover why talented artists and should be hit songs never see the light of day and how to make sure this never happens to you. So go to 10 and join our challenge. I'll see you there and we'll answer all your questions. Okay, so I hope to see you at the Spotify challenge. So how did I reach 46,000 people for free? Well, I used Facebook and Instagram organic traffic. This one post here where I shared about how I went and um, played my music for some strangers, that got five, that reach got 5,715 plays. It reached 5,579 accounts. It actually says that. This other one, um, what's the one that did really, uh, really good the other day okay this one I posted and this I posted in the last week this one reached 5644 accounts okay so we're at 10,000 accounts for free just coming up with an idea right here's another one that I did and this was a what did I do for this one this one was like a when you remix somebody's post this one reached 4795 people I did this basically a whole bunch of times and guess what not all my posts reached five and 5,000 plus people. Sometimes there's only a thousand, sometimes there's only a few hundred, but I learned how to crack the code on really just seeing like what's working and what's not. Like what are my fans responding to and lean into that. And I was able to get tens and tens of thousands of reach for free. Okay, it's not about your resources, it's about your resourcefulness. If you don't wanna pay for it with your money, then you gotta pay for it with your time. And guess what, your time is worth infinitely more than your money, all right? So that's why on the Spotify challenge for five days straight, where you're asking me questions, at the, if you get a VIP ticket, I can help you cut that time in half of what it takes to get to your goal and your dreams. This is the last one I'm doing live for a long time, so I encourage you, get a ticket, come hang out with us, and I'll see you there.